foremost, I would like to thank everyone that is in attendance today. It is because of all of your support, love, and encouragement that my classmates and I are able to walk across the stage and accept our diplomas today. And for that, we are thankful and extremely grateful. I have the privilege of speaking at graduation because I hold a leadership position. I have served as senior class president, and I can proudly say that it has been a fulfilling year. From my experience in this position, I have learned firsthand that a title does not give you power and authority. It is your actions that prove most powerful. Throughout our lives, we have learned from some of the most influential leaders in the world. Some who have inspired many of you, myself, and the world. Leaders like Winston Churchill, Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., and Rosa Parks. But what makes them leaders? And why do we call them leaders? It's because they do just that. They lead others. They stand up for what they believe in. They speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. And they have strength when others do not. These men and women have left their mark on the world. They have changed lives. But most importantly, they have inspired others to do the same. From their selfless actions, so many people have gained inspiration and confidence in themselves. Throughout my life and my experiences, I have been inspired, motivated, and disheartened, as I'm sure many of you have. We will all make mistakes, which is an inevitable part of life. But if we allow them to overtake us, we will become stagnant, never changing, and never improving. It should be our goal to be the best that we can be, because we can always improve ourselves. An innovative twist to this year's ceremony involves a combined speech from our valedictorian and salutatorian. At this time, I welcome friends and academic leaders, valedictorian Anna Snyder and salutatorian Brooke Peterson to the stage to give their address. On behalf of our fellow graduates, we would like to start off by thanking everyone who has supported us in our education, including parents, faculty, teachers, and friends. Please join with us in giving them a huge round of applause. Time is of the essence. We have spent seven hours a day, five days a week, 36 weeks a year in school for the past 13 years. We were in this building for a total of 5,040 hours over the past four years. But it wasn't time that we wasted. We learned a lot while we were here. We have received the basic education that we need to serve as the basis for our futures. We've learned how to write papers, how to solve problems, and how to avoid the mistakes of history. But we have also learned much more than that. Somewhere in between classes, homework, and tests, we learn important parts of life, like how to build relationships, how to manage our responsibilities, and how to overcome obstacles in our way. Throughout our time in school, we have managed to lay down the foundation for today. Enjoy changing your mind and changing it over and over and over again. Embrace the change. This is the time to figure out where we fit and what our skills are. This is the time to mess up and learn from it. Whatever we choose or wherever we go, in the end, we need to make an effective use of our time. We would like to conclude with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today. We thank you for the chance to grow and learn and simply for the chance of getting an education and the privilege of walking across this stage today. In the past few years, we have experienced both happiness and sadness, good times and trials, but you have always been steady. We know we have all made mistakes, but you have always forgiven us. Provide for us the courage to honor you with what we have given. We have given. Help us all to make an effective use of our time, both now and in the future. May your will be done and not ours. We ask these things in your holy name. Amen. Thank you.